Hello guys, today I'll show you how to solve the longest absolute path problem. So given a string, we want to find the maximum path length. So let's just take this for example. And so what we want to do is that we can observe that each directory or files is on a new line defined by you know slash n and then we also notice that each of the depth of the directory and files are indicated by the number of tabs so here we have a depth of one here we have depth of two so first what we want to do is split the lines right split the lines by the new lines and then we can take a look at what that output looks like. Okay, so you see that now we have an array of each directory also with the tabs included. So now what we want to do is actually we want to iterate through all of our lines and sort of, you know, kind of figure out the depth from the name and then also get the name of the directory we're interested in, right? So what we could do is we can uh, split again by the, <clears throat> the tabs and then we can take the last element of that array so that will be, for example, it will be this guy right here, right? So it'll be subdirectory of one. So here. And then we want to figure out the depth and we can actually do this very easily. So we can actually take the length of the entire line, subtract the length of the path we just extracted, right? So the length of this entire line, subtract the length of this will just give us the the depth level of the reason why this works is because slash t is actually considered one character so we will have two slash t's here then it would just be considered a length of two so that's actually the depth of two which is what we want so now we have the depth we need to figure out okay what's our maximum length so as the problem states that if the name of the file contains at least a period, then we that's considered a file, right? So if there is a dot in the name or the path of the line, then we want to simply you know, calculate the max length. It's going to be the max of the max length versus the length of the current path. And we should actually register max length here as zero for now and then else we're probably still in the directory so what we need to do now is create a sort of a map for depth so we can actually create a depth map here and we need to relationalize this with zero equals zero first because initially when we're in the first direct depth it's going to be the depth of zero and so when we are say on the subdirectory now we want to uh, increment the depth and then with the correct value. So what we're going to do is we're going to increment the depth because now it's the depth of one. And then that's going to equal the current depth, whoops, current depth, which is going to be, you know, in this case will be this one plus the length of the path which is this and then we actually need the plus one here because we need to accommodate for the final return result which is this slash right here and so that actually should be all of the problem so if we actually just run through and return you know just check see this output Okay, and so 
we're actually wrong. So let's take a look at what why we might be wrong. Okay, I see. We actually forgot to add the depth link here with the name of the file. Now let's try again. Okay, and there we go. And I think that will succeed. Let's try submitting. Alright, there we go. Thank you guys. See you next time.